good morning guys it's weird well i was gonna say it's weird waking up oh now light is too much i was gonna say it's weird waking up by myself in the house no it's not <laughs> because they're probably not even thinking about me you guys know the boys are with organa sexy taker um i'm still at home i haven't made my bed yet i've actually been up i'm just picking up this because i've had my cup of coffee upstairs do you guys what do i do to this flower like guys look this flower is literally not dying it's not dying i don't know if because i've been cutting the the stem i'm gonna go and water it i'm gonna go upstairs and water it again it's definitely not dying i love it i'm gonna bring it back to my room i actually sorry guys I've, I've got like a lot of stuff in my hand okay that's better let me do this you guys remember i said i'll be buying flour for myself every week i mean i don't have to buy any flowers if this one is not dying this is before valentine valentine has come and passed really walking i wanted to say walking but i don't understand what kind of walk <laughs> i was on the laptop earlier this morning um this is bed what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change the water oh the water is really really still clay and i'm gonna cut this bit and i'll see how long it will last for me why should you why should i spoil it or why should i um throw it away if it's not dead hey guys she's all ready i'm all ready now let me show you guys my outfit very plain not nothing spectacular today i want to be comfortable what's the time okay i need to start going actually okay. distraction oh it's abby it's always distracted okay my key is there i don't actually want to carry too much stuff oh there's my dirty clothes it needs to go upstairs guys look at the plants it's looking all right here focus baby all right there you go looks cute um, just wear a shoe and we're going to the market together guys we're going market i need to buy some few beaten balls that's the market i'm going oh i can go perfect thank you i'm going this shoe i want some grapes though can i have two please good morning guys sorry if most of the vlog are just no me room mm. cold pan apple it's really really nice how has the week been for you guys thank god the week has finished to be honest i'm so happy the week has finished can't wait <laughs> for next week let me move this thing out they're like so Frank gifted me this. It's so cute. Let me move back so you guys can see it properly. But can you guys see? That's the thing. It's very me, isn't it? I'm not going to turn back though because the weight I've had it literally everywhere. Everywhere, every angle. I had it with. But it's okay. The only way I'm consoling myself is my clothes still fits me. So they still fit me. Yeah, it's fine. But now it's getting ridiculous. This bug is actually gonna go up this morning or maybe later this evening. Um, I did pull my Instagram as well. That uh, you guys should ask me a question. I pull my community as well, but I haven't got a lot of questions on my community. But this question on Instagram, you guys should follow me on Instagram. Shameless plug. I'm gonna put my Instagram here. Yeah? I didn't even put anything on my Instagram this week, guys. That's how you know nothing to put on the internet what did, did not happen this week so like you guys know instagram is where i'm always like popping in and out but i did put there people are so nice and people did message how are you guys are you okay you guys are so sweet i love everyone of you guys you guys are so sweet i think that's the name she said how is how's working during the pandemic love watching you honestly it's not the same it's just so boring for someone like me you guys know me that based on the kind of job i do 
um i always get breaks in between and the breaks are what i used to go and do my other stuff like you know go to the shop go to tk max go to this thing but with this it's like you finish you go home you finish it's just boring it's very not <sighs> i feel like i'm used to it now it's really really stressful it's nothing we're just living every day but as is as it comes nothing special the same way everyone is working on eggshell around the whole world and everywhere is how you know i am as well it's a bit difficult and all that so oh this is nice <laughs> so that's how it is this is nice this person says do you have a meal prep idea for low carb diet honestly i think that's keto right um me i don't do all this low carb i fiber out this and that i when i need to lose weight i don't want to be losing and gaining weight but i can't help it work currently because people people there's a lot going on and i am someone that eats to just what do you call those things you know when you just you eat your your your, your feelings off that's why i had weight but when i want to reduce it or when I want to go on a strict diet, I do the intermediate fasting and I just eat once a day. So I'll drink lots of fluid and I think that's what I'm going to start. I also have a tea that was gifted. Oh, I need to, it's in the kitchen. Should I go and bring it? I've been drinking that. So I don't really know more about like low carb and all that. I'm not going to give anybody low fast information. But for me, I generally, generally just basically do intermediate fasting and I eat carb, I eat everything, I eat everything eatable and it helps. But right now, have I been dieting? No. I know it's not easy for everyone as well as me, but with everything that is going on, it's just not easy. I just feel like everyone should just do what makes them happy at this time because... <sighs> how did you get your job did you study for it did you have to train for it i got got my job normally actually the story of i've been doing this job for a very long time honestly um i think jordan should be about one when i started the job i think so and the thing is i was studying um I wanted to be a social worker and I didn't have any experience in care setting and I remember my friend at that time she said the company that her mom was working they needed people to work that they're giving people work that do I want to just do like a part-time job so at that time I needed that experience in care because I haven't done any care job I don't think it was required, but it would, it would have literally helped so I can know how um, to deal with um, clients and get the vibe of the thing. That's how I got the job. I just went there and I didn't go back home. And I didn't even do the care, um, this thing. Um, what's it called? The, the social worker that I wanted to be. I just, I felt like when I just got that job and the situation I was in at that moment, um, I forgot the thing I wanted to do. If anything, I would like to still go back on that same field. But with everything that is going on, I'm a very scary cat, honestly, guys. I'm very, very scared. So I, I'm just, I won't say I'm waiting right now. I'm just trying to figure out things. And while I'm still figuring out things, the kid, the boys are growing. At least I can say that the boys, they've reached a certain age that... I'm not worried about them because whatever I was going to be doing, guys, if you guys don't know, it's only me. Whatever, everything I do is only me. The only support system I have or the support bubbles, or I don't know what it is right now, is them Ediri and is them like Tega, Tega's mom and that's it. And it wouldn't be fair to put all my body on there. They're always there for me and they always help. So now the kids are grown, you know. I don't feel like I'm, I'll be scared anymore to, or feel guilty, not scared, feel guilty that I'm leaving them and I'm just, you know, doing my own thing. But uh, time goes, I mean, you know, with everything going on, I, this is for me, I feel like with everything going on is the best time to restart or to pull, to start whatever you want to do. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I think I am. So, yeah, I didn't change for it. They just said they were looking for people. 
and I got the job and I've been with that same company guys I always <laughs> I can stay with one company for 20 years as long as I'm doing my job properly I've never had any issue with the job yeah, and, and it's been good but it's not the job I would love to do for the rest of my life honestly but it was flexible when I was you know with the situation I was in at that time how are you coping in lockdown so far lockdown has been um very stressful as i did say that the only um way that i'm able to carry on um with everything going on is because i i kind of i vlog my life and it makes things very like you feel like i'm i've got something to wake up to do i've got the kids and you know i've got them as i said those, those are the only people that I kind of mix with most of the time. You guys heard the other day when we were on live, the boys, it, it cannot affect the boys as well because they only see just one person. I say, I know other kids, um, I don't know what happened in other people's household, but they would like to see other people. They would like to, you know, hang out with other people and just, you know, they are kids. I, I did say a lot of way on that live that time. I feel like this kid is going to affect them in a long while and as well as me as well but i feel like as much as you're growing you adjust as human beings we do adjust to some certain things i found out that even if the boys especially Jaden, if he sees his friends outside like in school he'll just be looking at them like this like that oh hi hello how are you it's not even there even if they can stand from distance and say hello he will just be looking at them like this as well as the skits as well it's like so that um you know that i don't know how to put it that it's just it's just there and currently now they always fight because even small thing they'll be fighting even me small thing i just get irritated and just get upset just because you know we are limited to things that we can do um i think i'm gonna i think this will be the last one and i will just go because i've been talking here for 12 minutes um oh what about your driving lessons did you give it did you give up the driving um you guys know how i feel about driving in this country i went to nigeria maybe two three years ago i had a driver that was driving me around and i did use the opportunity to learn to drive i was in nigeria for maybe like six weeks and my the driver that was driving me at that time he was really really patient with me on that week i could drive like i was i was dragging it with those you know with those damn four in lagos which was amazing and i wanted to come back here and you know carry on with the lesson because it's not like i cannot drive it's just that there are rules um in this country not like you know africa or nigeria that you know you can get your driving license easily and also the issue of the amount is just not practical for me the amount um to get your driving license in this country it just doesn't work out in my own budget or it doesn't there's no space for it in my budget and also i live in a community in an area that transportation is so easy like i just i can just walk five minutes i'll see five six buses that'll take me to anywhere i need to i live in a place that is very easy to walk around so having a car or driving for me currently is not something that is one of my priority um it would be nice to have a car but when i have other things that i actually um for me i think a car would be something that i would just buy because oh yeah maybe it's my 30th 30th two birthday i've got everything sorted out okay yeah let's just get a car that would be for me it would just be something it will not be something that i really need to life has been so easy if i really need to go somewhere and i want to be a big girl i can call uber you know i have my personal driver that come and pick me up but that's the thing i would love to own a car but it's just the thing that's surrounded in this country um if i was living in nigeria i, I would have been changing car every minute because i actually like cars like i love cars like when i know that people have got nice cars i'm always feeling oh my god i wish this was my car like I love cars so but it's just the way the country is in here guys even though i was in my head thinking this vlog is gonna be so short because it's it's just me um 
thank you guys to everybody that actually left a comment um yeah and hopefully there might be more so i might just do another another one because i'm i'm here by myself Kill me <laughs> me and instagram we've been friends guys follow me on instagram guys i'm well rested now uh, i'm gonna take at least i have till tomorrow to have the boys so i'm going to you know when you say you you grab the opportunity opportunity comes once i'm gonna grab the opportunity and relax and get ready for i think they go back to school next week it's a bit difficult but you know when they are back to school I can't walk a lot of hours. Like I can't exactly. I think this is gonna cut. If you cut me, I'll come back. I can't work, so that yes, the thing actually cut me off. So yeah, when they are at um, this thing like that, when they are um, at home homeschooling thing thing thing. I'm limited to what I can do, but for this one week, you know. I jamma jamma. I jamma jamma very well. So that's that. Thank you guys so much for checking up on me. <laughs> Let me say the check up now. Oh I I I don't I don't I don't actually I can't deal with this girl. I just can't. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for chilling with me. You guys like my new nightwear. I've been loving nightwear this day so night we at the plug thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys pretty soon bye guys